Are you ever feeling overwhelmed by everything going on in life? Like things are just constantly spinning out of control and your emotions are all over the place? Wouldn't it be great if you had some tools to manage stress, stay calm, and live a more meaningful life? Well, guess what? There's an ancient philosophy for that. Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Stoic Practices. Today, we're beginning the series of our 30-day Stoicism Guide. To practice Stoicism from basics to advanced, you can head over to the Stoicism for Beginners playlist I've created on the channel. There, you'll find daily exercises and challenges to help you integrate Stoicism into your life. Okay, so let's start. For the next few minutes, I'm going to be your guide to understanding the core principles of Stoicism, how it can benefit you, and some practical ways to start incorporating it into your daily life. So, whether you're completely new to Stoicism or just looking for a refresher, stick around. So what exactly is Stoicism? Stoicism is an awesome philosophy developed way back in ancient Greece and Rome. It's all about living a virtuous life based on reason and logic. Basically, the Stoics believed that true happiness comes from focusing on the things you can control, like your thoughts and actions, and letting go of the things you can't, like external events or other people's behavior. Some of the big names in Stoicism include Zeno of Sidium, Cleanthes, and Seneca. Their ideas were super influential, and Stoicism has actually seen a bit of a revival in recent years. That's probably because, well, let's face it, the world can be a pretty crazy place, and Stoicism offers some powerful tools for navigating it. Now let's learn core Stoic principles. So, what are the main ideas behind Stoicism? There are a few key principles that form the foundation of this philosophy. The dichotomy of control. This one's all about separating things into two categories. Things you can control and things you can't. You can control your thoughts, your actions, and your reactions to events. But you can't control what other people do, what happens in the world, or even things like the weather. By focusing on what's within your control, you can avoid getting stressed out about things you can't change. Stoic Virtues The Stoics identified four cardinal virtues that are essential for living a good life. Wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance. Wisdom is about using reason to guide your actions. Justice is about treating everyone fairly and doing the right thing. Courage is about facing challenges with bravery and resilience. And temperance is about practicing self-control and moderation. Amor Fati, Love of Fate this is a cool concept that basically means accepting what is outside your control and focusing on what you can influence. It's not about passively accepting everything that happens to you, but rather about recognizing that some things are simply beyond your control. By accepting this, you can free up your mental energy to deal with the things you can actually change. As we move further, let's look at the benefits of Stoicism. So, why should you care about Stoicism? Well, there are a ton of benefits to incorporating these principles into your life. Reduced anxiety and stress. By focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you can't, stoicism can help you manage negative emotions and cultivate a sense of inner peace. Increased resilience. Life throws curveballs sometimes, but stoicism can help you develop the mental toughness to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. Improved decision-making. Stoicism emphasizes reason and logic, which can lead to better decision-making in all areas of your life. You'll be less likely to get caught up in emotions or swayed by external pressures. You might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how do I actually put Stoicism into practice? Here are a few tips to get you started. Start small. You don't have to overhaul your entire life overnight. Begin by incorporating Stoic principles into your daily routines in small ways. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation is a great way to become more aware of your thoughts and emotions. By observing your thoughts without judgment, you can learn to challenge negative thought patterns and choose more rational responses. Journaling. Journaling can be a powerful tool for self-reflection. Use your journal to identify areas where you struggle with negative emotions or unhelpful thought patterns. Then, apply stoic principles to reframe your thinking and develop more positive responses. Memento mori, remember you must die. This might sound morbid, but it's actually a powerful stoic concept. 
By reminding yourself that life is finite, you can prioritize what truly matters and focus on living a meaningful life in the present moment. Let's look at some concrete examples of how you can use stoicism in everyday situations. Feeling frustrated during a commute? Practice the dichotomy of control. You can't control the traffic, but you can control your reaction. Take some deep breaths, listen to calming music, or use the time to mentally prepare for your day. Facing a difficult conversation? Use stoic virtues like courage and temperance. Approach the conversation with honesty and respect, but also be prepared to control your emotions and listen to the other person's perspective. Disappointed by a setback? Remember Amor Fati. Accept that things didn't go your way, but focus on what you can learn from the experience and how you can move forward. So, there you have it. A taste of stoic principles and how you can start applying them in your own life. Remember, stoicism is a journey, not a destination. It takes time and practice to truly master these ideas, but the rewards are great. As I have mentioned earlier, this video marks the beginning of our 30-day Stoicism Guide. If you're ready to delve deeper, head over to the Stoicism for Beginners playlist, where you'll find daily exercises and challenges to help you apply Stoicism into your life. The link is given in the comment section below. Speaking of the channel, consider subscribing for more content on philosophy and personal development centered around Stoicism. Building a strong community around these ideas is important to me. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Your likes and comments are a huge encouragement to keep creating valuable content.